It's a big match day at Shrewsbury Town Football Club. The team is in second place in the fourth division and chasing promotion. They're at home today to Newport and need two vital points from the game. There'll be a bigger gate than usual. There's great excitement in the town at Shrewsbury's chase for promotion. Inside the dressing room, the home team is keyed up before the start. They've only really got two out and now defenders, which are Hazelwood and Coldrick. Shrewsbury is a happy little club, small enough for everyone from the players to the ground staff to be on friendly first-name terms. If they get promotion, then it'll be a club effort. The players will have won the games and they've played hard throughout the season, but they'll owe a lot to the backup operation. Working hard behind the scenes have been the manager, the coach, the trainer, the ground staff and the ball boys. And then there's Fred, of course. Fred Davis is on duty as usual at his post beside the trainer. For the past 40 years, he's been on the payroll as a vital member of the club. 63-year-old Fred comes to every match in his role as a backroom boy. And on some Saturdays, particularly during hard-fought games like this, he could be hard at work. Today, for example, Shrewsbury are pressuring the Newport goal. The ball swings towards the visitor's goal mouth. A quick passing move by the corner flag. The defenders go for the tackle. A shot towards the center, and the ball, as it often does, disappears out of the ground. Now, there's a problem in retrieving balls down at Shrewsbury. The place where they tend to land can be a trifle awkward. The ground stands beside the River Severn, and that's why for 40 years Fred has worked here as football's strangest ball boy. While the match continues with a substitute ball, Fred swings into action. With his coracle tucked over his head, he's employed here each week to fish the stray footballs out of the river. Fred learnt all about ball boying on the river from his dad, who did the job before him. And the family have always used a coracle, the boat ancient Britons built for the Severn 2,000 years ago. In recent years, Fred tried a motorboat to fish out the balls, but the rise in fuel prices forced him to return to his coracle. The club pays him a fee for every ball he recaptures, and of course he sees every match for nothing. The trick is to pick up the ball before it falls over a weir and disappears for good. Then it would cost Shrewsbury 15 pounds to replace everyone that's lost. This was a successful pickup, and now Fred paddles back as fast as he can to see how his favourite team are doing in the match. Incidentally, he's only lost a couple of balls in nearly 40 years, and although he's fallen in several times, Fred's such an expert at manoeuvring the coracle that each pickup only takes about 10 minutes. One has to ask, of course, why the club has never built a fence on the riverside part of the ground to prevent the balls from being booted in in the first place. Well, Shrewsbury isn't a wealthy club, and it's cheaper to use Fred, who only charges a small sum per ball because he's devoted to the team. Mind you, it's all a question of how accurate kicking is on whether Fred works at all. And when Shrewsbury plays certain clubs, who'll be nameless, he might spend the entire afternoon trotting backwards and forwards around the ground. Today, it was a good game for all. One ball in the river, so Fred served his club. Shrewsbury saved £15 on the ball, and the home team won as well. 